Hello, everybody. This is Eddie Gabor, I'm CEO and co-founder of Key Advisors Wealth Management. Uh, and I wanted to shoot today's video on this very important day because we have one of the most important Fed meetings that we have had uh, probably in the last year and a half because we are entering an inflection point here where everyone is expecting the Fed to pause and looking at that pause as the start of a new bull market. Now, I will tell you, I am in that same camp in regards to the Fed is probably going to pause. I don't think they're done potentially raising rates because we still have an opportunity or a chance that we could get a reacceleration of inflation. And I think they will leave that open when during their meeting today. Okay, uh, they haven't had their meeting. It's uh, the, the day of the meeting around 9.15, I'm shooting this. So I think they're going to pause, but I think they're going to leave the door open for future rate hikes. How the market reacts to that, I have no idea. But at the end of the day, we still do not believe this is going to be the start of a new bull market. Make no mistake, this has been one hell of a bear market rally for technology stocks, and now you're starting to see it broaden out uh, a little bit to other areas, and you have to respect that. But understanding and studying bear markets, this is actually very typical. This reminds us very much of the 2000 to 2002 tech bubble burst. During that time period, we had, I believe, over 10 rallies that were 10% or more. And we had about three of those rallies were even more than what we have witnessed here so far on a year-to-date basis. At the end of the day, the Fed is in a really tough position still because core inflation is still well over 5%. And if they stick to their 2%, the only way they can get down to 2% is by forcing and causing some type of recession. So we aren't pivoting in the sense of saying that now we're in a new bull market. We still think that we are in a bear market. We are seeing a rally. And we think that there's going to be hell to pay potentially for those that think that we are out of the woods. All this government stimulus that has helped, whether it's backstopping the banks or what they've done for businesses and individuals, is just delaying the inevitable. Now, whether that happens in the fourth quarter of this year or first quarter of next year, we'll have to wait and see. So our thesis is we're still going into a recession. It's probably going to be later than what we thought. We thought we would see the recession this summer. I think the GDP numbers that come out in July are going to be very critical. The month of July is going to be a very critical month for the direction of this market for the summer because we're going to get GDP, we're going to get earnings, and potential earnings revisions. Right now, the market doesn't care about the data deteriorating. The macro data is deteriorating. Banks are lending less money now than where they were three months ago, and that trend continues to go down and down and down. But I can talk about the macro data till I'm blue in the face. And if the market's ignoring it, you got to respect it. So this summer, we will more than likely buy. We've been patient for a year and a half. We believe we're going to get a buyable dip this summer that we will buy. We're not going to go all in by any means. Cash or money market is still going to be a very, very strong core holding in our portfolio. But we're not going to fight the tape. And if the recession now gets punted to the fourth quarter or first quarter of next year, there's still money to be made. And we want to take advantage of that. So understand the macro dynamics continue to deteriorate. And we're watching that very closely. The market is ignoring it. And we're watching that closely as well too. Because either one of those things can break. And that's what makes this time period one of the toughest time periods as an investor to manage through. Because if you're fundamentally based like we are, the fundamentals are telling you stay the hell out. If you're a technical investor, it's telling you game on. And so what you have to do in our opinion is hedge your bet. So maybe instead of having for us, you know, 60, 70% cash, maybe we'll take that cash position down by 30%. But make no mistake, we are going to have some amazing buying opportunities that will be much better than the summer dip we think we're going to get if we go into a recession. This market's not priced in a recession. The bulls are pounding their chests as if everything is fine. 
Meanwhile, all the data that we track and respect is telling us that there's going to be some really rough waters ahead. And you have to respect that. And at the end of the day, the data will win, uh, no matter how long it takes. And I'm not saying years. We're going to know at the latest, absolute latest in our opinion, is first quarter next year if we're going into a recession. If we haven't entered a recession by first quarter next year, then we should be out of the woods. And at that point in time, it'll be game on, all in, based on clients, risk tolerance, and goals. So that's how we're going to play it. We're going to hedge our bet. We're going to have a viable dip this summer that we'll dip our toes in the water on some assets we haven't known for a year and a half. And even with all that, we'll still be getting in at much lower prices than when we sold at. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. So I wanted to shoot this quick video and kind of give you our thoughts as we head into the summer months. I hope this brings you and your family value, and I hope you make this a winning week. Thank you.